All right, what's up, YouTube? This gameplay right here was during the finals of the 4v4 hardpoint last map. I do very well, and I play the map very good. So I wanted to share this with this, you know, with you guys. It's gonna be how to play BioLab hardpoint. I'll be explaining some things as I, the gameplay is going through and show you guys like what to do, what not to do. So let's get right into it. So off the break, you want to have at least two going ice. You want to have two watching green, or you know one watching purple you want me and center automatically preem ice study flanks them we immediately get all four down now the only problem here is we didn't have no one blue perfectly pushed up too far we we killed the whole team and they spawned blue this is really bad on our part we need to have someone blue next time perfectly should have stayed back instead of pushing up but he did what he did so that's a mistake we need to learn from there now here you don't want to push your eyes because obviously i'm gonna die i try pushing around purple i get instantly killed Right here, my team is doing a great job. We're all rotating around purple. I think I decided to hit ice because I spot a guy right here, Biolab. I pick him up and I decide to pinch. I get it. I think I kill this guy. No, I want to make cleans him up. We get a nice pinch going in. Now there's 15 seconds left. I was going to go help, but I realized, you know, there's not much time left. Might as well get new spawns. Rotating is very important. You know, you want to get good spawns. So I'm in new hill already. I get, you know, kind of bullshitted, but it's all good. My team is on the rotation. Sadly, I spawned out really far away. Now, here you want to hold snow. I feel like snow is a lot more better than orange. It's so easy to kill them coming from green. Here, I'm trying to pinch on my team. Spot one. Sadly, I didn't get them. So, as you can see, I'm really starting bad, but I am definitely going to start picking it up. I throw a nade in the hill, try to get that kill. Sadly, I don't. I push up with my teammate. I clean up the first kill for him. Seeing that my teammates are spawning top orange, I immediately turn around, get a nice two-piece, knowing they're spawning bio. I get a nice kill. I get I get another kill. Staying alive, playing it very well. Get some shots in him. Study cleans him up. So right here, we're in a good position. We know they're spawning snow. We have a guy holding top orange. We have three watching snow. Uh, I challenge, you know, recklessly. It kind of got me killed. But overall, there's 15 seconds left. This is the big hill. This is the hill you always want to rotate. This hill is really important. Early rotation is key. So I decided to go in my little corner. Uh, you know, it's this hill is going to be... Uh, now, we're in a good position. Our whole team rotated early. Uh, it's in the hill, basically. Uh, we rotated early-ish. And we got hill control. Now, I'm here watching, you know, over my teammate. Trying to do my best job of watching over him. I get one kill. I get double team. I couldn't do too much in that spot. That spot's pretty good, guys. But it could be risky at times just because people know it now. My team gets three kills. We're coming right back into this game. I realize the purple is open, so I go to watch purple. But there's a AR in the left corner of the map sitting there. So that was pretty. That was pretty weird. And the funny part, he's still sitting there, but. You gotta notice where they're spawning. We're spawning purple, then obviously they're spawning green. If we're spawning green, then they're obviously gonna spawn purple. So it's vice versa. The whether you where you spawn, that's where they're gonna spawn. So you always gotta remember that. So we're spawning purple, meaning they're spawning green and they're flooding from green. Uh, I I just get it. They get the hill back. I get killed from the back, but my teammate managed to try to get some control. I pull out a bow for this hill because I like having one bow at least. It's very effective, you know, holding it from, you can get kills from long range. Uh, I don't know if I do it this hill, but you definitely see some of it, some of my bow work. I double stun the back green because they're obviously back there. I try to hold as long as I can. I get a nice long range kill like I was trying to tell you guys earlier. Now the only problem is subs are pushing me. I'm trying to stay alive as long as I can. Uh, trying to juke around. I do a great job juking around. I couldn't finish up the kill sadly. Uh, my teammate does though. So we're in a good position right here. We're getting green spawns. I have a bow. I decide to hold flank. Make sure they don't flank. But my teammates are starting to die. So I go push up with a bow. You see now this is the range I was talking about. I can easily, you know, hold, hold the hill. And do some damage with the bow without them really shooting much at me. It's really it's really good to do this. You always want to have one watch your flank. I push out the, the rail with the bow just because I have the range on them. I got two kills. I, I peeked the peek the, uh, the rail again. See nothing. I get the guy orange. I get the last 10 seconds and my some teammate died. Now, my teammate's doing a great job. They're going around purple. You don't want to go through ice or orange. That's just saying you're too... Yeah, that's just, that's just dumb. You don't want to push through there. I get a nice kill knowing the guy's going to pre him there, and I had a bow. So I decided to pinch orange. I get a good two-piece. Try to go for the three, but I die. But my teammates pinching right now. I pull out a sub. My teammates are doing... Uh, they, they, they couldn't win their gunfight, sadly. But we're here, right here, we're doing a great job of all rotating around purple. 
I got a nice for opening kill, traded it. We get two dead. Right here, in, we're in a good position. I go snow to pinch, but once spawns on me, he was there the whole time. I think he was there the whole time. So we went from almost breaking it to back to, yeah, we need to work on it again. So I throw two nades in there. I spot one. I get a good kill just from jumping up. I decide to charge in. I put some bullets on the second guy. I die. My teammate instantly died. So we were in the game, and this hill, you know, we, we didn't rotate early. My teammate didn't rotate early. But... We're, we're trying to come back into it. We managed to break it with the last 12 seconds left. I get killed from a bow from purple. I don't know why he would put a bow, but he did. So right here, you know, we're, we got kind of the rotation. I kill one. There's one more cut. And we have three dead. Last kids in hill. Sensor dies. I throw up the two nades in hill trying to get some pressure. Here I push around blue just because I want to block the blue spawn. And I want to have front green control. Because I know they're going to spawn green. And as you guys can see, my screen is spawn green. I was going to reload. And as soon as I saw him, I double Y to cancel the reload. Because you because you can't cancel it with, uh, while sprinting with fast hands. Right here, I see they're spawning blue and purple. I'm just trying to, you know, just juke around. Try to control it for a little bit. I stayed alive for about a good six seconds. It helped my team buy some time to set up better. And my teammates managed to kill three. Here, I know they're going to be spawning purple. You, see, you guys see that? They spawned right in front of me. That's a huge spawn. If they're in hill and nobody's in purple, they're most likely going to spawn there. So if you're pushing through purple, you're going to see them there. <sighs> Damn. So right here, my team's doing a great job of holding the hill. One's on the hill. I try to put some bullets into them. Uh, you know, there's two in hill now. There's nine seconds left. I spawn snow in front of hill. I decide to camp a corner. Not on hill because I want to camp a corner where I could do some damage. And I spot a guy yellow. I try to put bullets on him. That was kind of a dumb challenge. I told myself in my mind. I'm like, uh, a bad idea. But it's all good. You know, still have a lead. I do the little, the little jump trying to go top snow. But instead, I challenge hill. Get one kill. Two dead. Setter gets another kill. Right here, we're trying to trade. Right here, we're just flooding from green. You know, it's, it's pretty good. I call the guy Ice. I try to challenge the guy in hill. I kill him, but there's two snow again. Right here, it's really easy to flood just because of top snow. If you guys see, I either go top snow or I challenge very... And every time I go down, you see, I challenge orange. That's, a, that's one thing I do. So I get a nice two-piece. I get a 33-piece. almost get the four-piece, but I die. And that's why it's easy. It's easy to, if they don't have no one pushed up top orange, it's easy to break. As you guys can see, on this hill, we rotate every 15 seconds. Uh, normally, in other hills, you rotate 8, 10 seconds, 5 seconds. But with this hill, that's so important. Early rotation is key. So, at around 15 seconds, at least we have one player rotating. I usually try to rotate early for my team. Uh, it's something I've been doing lately a lot. You know, I, I try to get sponsor my team every time. So right here, I'm just trying to run around in circles, trying to, you know, preempt something, trying to anticipate. There's four people coming in hill. I get one. I get a nice two-piece. This this two-piece allows my team to have only one, like, one or two guys in hill. It allows them to trade easier. So right here, Poofy gets another two-piece, and we're in a good position. You know, my teammates are spawning green, so right here, a guy spawns purple in front of me. And then the rest are spawning purple. Just shows, just shows, just shows, just shows, uh, just shows that... God damn, he said when the hell of fast. But that just shows that, you know, whether where you spawn, it shows where they're spawn. So I spawn green. They're obviously attacking purple. Two die, three die purple. Now they're now that we're flipping spawns. Are you gonna spawn a bio lab here or top orange? One's already bottom green though. I clean that kill up. Here I'm just trying to be effective. I oh I destroyed this kid. I got a nice two piece. Right here, I forgot to pull out Bao. Study was calling me to call it pull out Bao, but I decided to, you know, I kind of forgot. He did a moment. I stayed with my sub. I'll pull out Bao after I die. But either way, I do some damage. Get a two-piece, three-piece. Three are dead. Study got one. I, me and Study are doing a great job baiting here. I get another two-piece, just playing the rail. I get in the corner with my trophy, staying alive. Trying to watch over my teammate. I get another kill. Sadly, I died, but here I pull about as you guys can see. I'm gonna show you guys what I do because it's what I do. But sadly, I get killed by the freaking thing. So, you see, I got the ball out. I managed to pull out a kill very far. Now, nah, there's a guy far left. I couldn't do anything about that. We have a good lead right now. What is it? Uh, it's a 40 point lead. Nine seconds, rotate. You know, there's no point of fighting anymore. What I like doing a lot of this hill is jump on top of the, the can I would say, I don't call them canisters, but I call it like the blue things. 
They all spawn snow in front of me. I try to, you know, get a stay alive in yellow so I can get at least a kill. But I just instantly die. We still have a 40 point lead. They need to hold this for almost every second. You know, it's pretty much game from here. I rush the hill. I jump on top of the canister thing. Like I was saying, I get two. I sit here. It's, it's something I like doing. I feel like it works really well. People never do it. But it's just unexpected. Like, people expect you to be on the ground. Now on top of some, like, canister. But pre aiming is good. I get a good pre aim right there. Get a first kill. And you guys see we're spawning, we're spawning uh, orange and we're flooding. But normally, you know, this is because it's over. But you want to, if you're going to spawn orange, you don't, you never, on this hill, you never want to flood from just, uh, you know, just from one tunnel. You obviously want to pinch. You want to flood from two areas at least. So, for example, here, you don't want to flood ice just because it's not as effective. But you could definitely flood uh, two orange and two snow where it's, you have a higher chance of winning your gunfights and doing you know, uh, it's gonna work. And, and, uh, like if you're coming through ice, one person screaming that tunnel, he's easily getting a two piece. So I dropped 44 kills, 32. I started a little bit shaky. You know, I couldn't kill things. Weren't, was I played kind of dumb, but I managed to pick it up. Got some huge two pieces. Got a lot of two pieces. Got like one or two three pieces. And overall, I just played it well. So I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.